What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff and I'm your favorite tour guide in Madeira. In today's episode, we're gonna be speaking a little bit about winter sunsets, particularly in Funchal. We're gonna be tasting some local food at this brand new establishment, which you're gonna to have to stay tuned for a little bit later. And we're also gonna be revealing some awesome news uh, regarding our business hit the road tours so stick around if you want to be entertained this monday night uh, with something cool from madeira let's go So one of the best things about winter time in Madeira is that you get the sunsets right in front of Funchal. The sun at the moment is setting more southwest than northwest. So in the summer months, uh, between July and end of and, and, and middle of September, uh, the sun actually sets further on to the north, so um, or further west, should I say? So you've got you got to go to a place like Caleta or Ponto do Sol or Paul do Mar like you've seen in this video uh, with André and Luis in this video now in this channel so now in the winter it's great that it actually sets up here and if you can get yourself a, a nice big vantage point you know higher up in the mountains places like here in San Gonzalo or Pico Alto for instance or up in Monte you can get some some pretty crazy cool sunsets and then also because it's a little bit cloudier it's actually much much prettier so maybe you'll get a less likelihood of getting a great sunset but if you do get one it's going to be much better than a summer sunset in my opinion So a little bit of a fail in today's sunset mission. Uh, unfortunately, the, the sun went down a little bit too fast for us and there's just a little bit too many clouds, but I think, uh, I think it was worth it and I'm sure you, you got to see something. So now we're heading up, we're gonna head up through Monte. We're gonna go past a place called the Tejero de Luto to try and see the Funchal lights. And one of my favorite things about my job is going up through that path through the road that goes between Monte to Pico do Arieiro um, at night or in the early morning so that you actually see the Funchal lights and it's just one of my favorite views to see the Funchal lights from up above so um, we're gonna try and show you some of that uh, and at the same time miss our exit you know so we're gonna just uh, turn around over here and uh, and start again but yeah Behind us is the Our Lady of Peace statue up in Tejero de Luta. And uh, this is uh, quite an epic little monument here in Funchal because uh, it's got to, it goes back all the way to uh, the First World War. So during the First World War, there were two German submarines that sank a boat in Funchal. And um, they actually have up here the remainders of the chain uh, that was built as a promise in 1927. Uh, this this uh, monument, this statue, to end the war and for peace. Um, the whole story is on the plaque in the front, so I kind of feel a little bit on the spot here actually explaining this to you guys, but it's all there. And it's a nice little stop on the way up to, uh, to where we're going, uh, just above Monte. And uh, of course, great view of Funchal as well, epic little uh, monument. It's getting cooler uh, and I think that very soon I'll be putting on my jacket. Andre, should we get out of the cold? Yeah. Let's go. Are you coming?
William Shakespeare. You'll actually find in one of William Shakespeare's plays a story about Madeira. Uh, not the island, but the, the wine, Madeira wine. There is a little urban myth or urban legend about the Duke of Clarence that you might have heard. Actually, a lot of people think that this story is true, uh, where the Duke of Clarence was uh, sentenced to death because of treason and him being the brothers the king's brother, uh, he could choose the way he wanted to die and he decided to be drowned inside of a barrel of Madeira wine. Uh, and uh, you can actually buy that Madeira wine from Blandy's. So just so you know, the Duke of Clarence. So, yeah, not bad. Huh? This is a picado. Uh, picado in Madeira is a very uh, common, uh, I wouldn't say a snack, it's almost like a tapas kind of thing where we'll usually get together, a group of us, and have a picado. And basically what it is, it's french fries um, on the outskirts of the plate and in the, min in the middle is uh, chopped meat, uh, mushrooms, uh, in a kind of wine and garlic sauce, I think it is, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to show you what it's like. And um, I've heard very, very good things about the picado up here at Bacacão. Uh, just so you know, we are at this place called Bacacão. It's brand new since May of this year. And you can see it's really pretty up in the mountains. It's like a little shelter. Um, where you can come and have a drink and have something to eat. And also, of course, it's very close to Pico do Arieiro, our usual sunset spot. So this place is now the official hit the road uh, spot for our sunset tours. So uh, when you come out with us on a sunset tour and we go up to the peaks uh, to see the sunset, we're gonna come down here afterwards to have some picados, some pregos, some uh, samosas, some hot chocolates, ponches, whatever you kind of want to have. Um, so yeah, that's 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 it. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat up. When you're in Madeira, make sure to try yourself a picado. It really is getting cold. So if you're coming up in the mountains in Madeira in the winter time, you wanna be well prepared. This is uh, Bacacão, absolutely awesome place. Like I said earlier, we're gonna start coming here on our sunset tours. I always felt like there was something missing on our sunset tours. It was such a beautiful tour. Uh, you know, up in Pico do Arieiro, the sunset, as you saw in one of the last videos. But there was always something missing and I thought, it's definitely the food and I think we've now found it. So if you book a sunset tour with us, you're gonna come out here. Not only are you gonna see an awesome sunset, hopefully, but if you don't, you'll get a great plan B from us as we always do. Uh, and you're gonna come here, get some real cool local stuff. So we're gonna carry on. We've got one more thing for you. I've got some uh, news to give you about Hit The Road and some of the things that we're doing now in Madeira. So stick around, that's coming up right now. Time to get out of here and go back to, down to uh, Funchal. Let's go. So it's an exciting time. It's coming to the end of the year. Uh, Christmas is a big, big deal in Madeira and we cannot wait to not only show you uh, all of the Christmas celebrations in Madeira, but also, of course, to celebrate it ourselves. So the first big news is that we've got a new member on the team at Hit The Road and specifically for the vlog to help and combat uh, all of the challenges that we've had this year to run a tour company and produce, you know, a vlog of highest quality for you guys that is valuable, uh, entertaining, 
and motivating uh, as well. So hopefully there's some really, really cool stuff coming to the Hit The Road vlog already this December. We're already planning our Christmas vlogs. It's gonna be awesome. The second bit of very, very cool uh, news for you guys is that we are once again running Black Friday, which will be this upcoming Friday. It'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right, four days of massive discounts at Hit The Road. You can go and get 50% off all of our tours that hit the road and that includes the big walk now remember the big walk has got accommodation it's got your transport it's got your guiding it's even got food all included and that's a 50 percent discount buy one get one free for next year if you're planning your trips for next year you're going to want to take advantage of our black friday sale um, not only for the big walk but also for private tours and any other tour on our site, including the Sunset Tour, if you wanna come out to Bukhakao. So that's the second uh, big news at Hit The Road, and I think that's it. On that bombshell, like and subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be loads of awesome things coming, uh, not only now towards the end of the year, but towards next year as well. Leave us a comment on what you'd like to see at the Hit The Road vlog and what you've been thinking about all of this. I love to see your input and I love interacting with you guys. So please let us know what your thoughts are. And um, what else? I think that's it, hey Andre? Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. <laughs>